Two Point Campus, everybody. I hope you're having a good one because I am excited to be back. Last time we went into Freshly Meadows and we happened to get this thing up to a two star campus. It's going to take a little bit of work to get it up to three stars. So I'm not really feeling like doing that right now. But what we can do right now is jump over this way to Piazza Lanatra which is going to be a place where we serve award-winning food and help culinary students stomach the perils of fine dining. We're going to be starting with $250,000. And to be quite honest, a culinary school sounds delicious. So welcome to Piazza Lanatra, where you'll find cobblestones and stunning cobbler. These students are eager to prove themselves in the town's famous cookery competitions, but a life on the stove can turn any aspiring chef into a perspiring chef. Will they wilt under the spotlight, or does it take a pressure cooker to make diamonds? We're going to be starting a gastronomy course with 10 students. All right, I can manage that. We have DJ Sous Chef, which is an amazing, amazing name. Hello there! I'm DJ Sue Chef. You'll find my restaurant and nightclub beat root. <laughs> that is so good. That is amazing. That is an amazing bit of wordplay in this one little pop-up. I absolutely love that. Right here in Piazza La Natra. I'm here to help turn your student body into a bodacious stew of learning. Welcome to the culinary world. It's going to be delicious. That's what I said, but okay. We need to build ourselves a lecture theater, a savory kitchen, and we need to get ourselves a gastronomy teacher. So let's go ahead and get right to it. We'll do this as quickly as we can. We have a few things right here. We'll start with the lecture theater, though, because it can go right about here. It has to be four by four. I'm going to do a four by five in this case, just because I can. And I'm wondering, can I get away with this? I actually sort of can and i don't dislike that but i think we'd have to do it sort of the other way around so let me get rid of that thing let me put the benches all the way down there and we'll do sort of the what is this the lectern right up about there and that's it's a bit of a distance away but i kind of like that i think it's kind of cool we can go ahead and throw like a bat poster right there we could get ourselves a purple man poster and we'll put it over on this side. I probably should get myself something like an auto queue. Because I think that would be kind of cool. Which, admittedly, if I put it right in the middle, it's it's not actually blocking anybody. So, yeah, we'll do an auto queue right there in the middle. Not really sure what it does. I probably should have read the description. It gives more learning power. Okay. And then what else do we have in here? We have nothing else that I can afford that I'm particularly interested in. Other than maybe... No, I don't really want the food groups poster... We could get a robot poster. I think we're good, though. I think we have everything we need. So let's go ahead and give this thing a door, which can be... Well, actually, I was thinking the door could sort of be back there, which it absolutely can. So the door can live there. And that's that's pretty cool. I like that as a lecture theater. We'll go ahead and put a plant down in the corner, and we'll approve that. And then we need a savory kitchen. Now, I'm hoping the savory kitchen... Now oh, it has to be six by six. Oh, of course it does. Uh, so I made this thing a bit too big, is what I've discovered today. Definitely made that a little bit too big. We'll go ahead and put the savory kitchen, I guess, right about here. This seems like a good spot for it. We can maybe do a big bathroom down the side there. And maybe we just do that. Oh my god, what the? What is that? <laughs> what? what is that? That is enormous. Hello? Oh my god, I love it. Okay. Uh, I can also do a normal double, a normal door on this, but I'm going to do the double door. We've got things like container cupboards. Oh my god, we have so much stuff for this. We have spice racks. We have corner cupboards. I want the corner cupboard, absolutely, because I want to place it uh, right down here. I think that's a good place for it. And then what we could do is throw a container cupboard uh, right about there there which is weirdly not fitting up against the uh the existing uh cupboard at all but we'll do this that seems a bit weird but we'll we'll go for it and then what else do we got we got a cooking station which i guess can live right there we have a chopping station which can live uh i guess 
I guess right there. Can I put it like right up against the cooking station? Is that going to be an option? It doesn't seem like it. So I'll put it there and we'll do the recipe station right about there. That seems fine. That seems like a good way to learn. I imagine all of these things might help add to the space a little bit. Uh, can I get a bin? I can. And I want to get a plant. Just a nice little plant right there. I think we could probably get some food group posters just to make the place a little fancier. And honestly, that is enormous, but I am here for it. So we'll go ahead and approve it. We have a level two campus. We don't have any dormitories. We don't have any bathrooms. But we can go ahead and get ourselves a teacher. And then I think we can probably start the school year. So we'll go for Vera Poodle. We'll hire you and drop you in there. And you know what we're also going to do? We're going to go to your clothing. And we're going to say you're going to wear the navy gown. And we're going to apply it to everybody. Maybe the stri No, definitely not the stripey one. There we go. Perfect. All right. So now we just need to... Can I? I can add more courses. Hello? Well, I can't. I don't actually have the points to do it. But we do have these two that we can add eventually. Either way, I think this is fine. We're going to go with the one course. We are expected to start the academic year right away. But to be honest, I'm kind of thinking we should do some bathrooms and some dormitories. So I think this time we'll go for something that is a little different for the dormitory. We'll go for sort of a lighter theme. So a white, uh, I guess, wardrobe right there. We'll go for the white bed frame as well. We're going to stick, I think, with the pride bed sheets, though, because I think that's kind of cool. And we'll do a bed, I guess, right about there. In terms of the desk, I mean, I don't think we have any other options for it. Oh, we have clown dressers and clown trunks. We have actually got some pretty cool options in here. But for now, we'll just go ahead and see if we can fit ourselves a desk into that corner, which we absolutely can. Going to be a very similar layout to the last one, I think. But it's it's okay. Uh, we'll go ahead and put ourselves... Oh, I do like the idea. I do like the idea of getting ourselves a little rug in here just underneath the bed. I think that looks really nice. Just something nice and warm and cozy to put your feet on in the morning, you know? We'll go ahead and do... What else? Uh, we'll do the I Heart two-point thing above the bed. And we'll do the little dorm notice board right about there as well. And it's pretty much the same layout that we had last time, isn't it? That's, that's okay. I'm not really too worried about it. Let's go ahead and approve it. We could probably eventually do something to make it look a little better. But for now, I'm just going to go ahead and copy it so that immediately we have two dormitories. And I think that's going to be good. It should keep our students nice and happy. We have a bathroom right there. We have the academic stuff right here. We have the lecture theater right here. So let's go ahead and start the new year. We are going to start with the gastronomy course. And everything should be very good and very exciting. So in my experience, you get the best from food when it's joyful and inspired and students are no different. To produce the best chefs, you'll need to create a free range, a student paradise, and stuff them full of culinary tidbits. Okay, so we need to get the campus to level three, which we're very close to doing. We are very, very close to doing. If we get a student lounge, possibly a library as well, I think that would help us out. In fact, to be honest, a library could probably go right about there. I think that would be a pretty good place for it. I've got to be honest. So, let's do a door right here. Let's do the library... I think I might just do the library reception right down there, to be honest. We'll do some bookcases sort of next to the uh, to the reception, so right along that wall, which will give us a nice little level. We can do some computer cubicles as well, so we'll do one right there. Uh, we could do a textbook cubicle next to it, and we can do a whatever one that is right next to it as well. These should probably be right next to each other properly, though. So there... And then you get moved in a little bit to about there. And I'm wondering if I could get three more just sort of back to back, right? So I'd want one here, which I think is pretty good. Uh, we want this one to be, I guess, right about here. And those are not in line with each other. So you need to be moved this way a little bit. That looks much better. And then this one is going to go right about there. 
and also needs to be moved just... Uh, let's see, that way just a little bit. That might be a little cramped, but honestly, I'm here for it. I think we'll manage. We'll get ourselves a library notice board just right about there. We'll get ourselves a nice plant right back there. We'll get ourselves a nice rug, I guess, right about there. That seems okay by me. And we'll get ourselves absolutely nothing else. Ooh, we could get ourselves a records cubicle. I don't know what it does. Actually, no, a, a records cubicle isn't that it's to look up records. Duh. So, yeah, I guess we could go ahead and put that in here, which I like the idea of doing. It's something a little bit different. It looks kind of cool. It's a little bit retro. So we'll go ahead and just slap ourselves a records cubicle right about there. I like it a lot. I'd like to move it along just a little bit to about that spot. But that seems good. Let's confirm that that is our library, which is going to need an assistant. So let's go ahead and get Missy Bam Shoot right about there. And you know what? Let's also... Hold on a minute. Listen, I get it. You want your students to flower, but their grades won't always be self-raising. When one of my chefs needs some help, I send everyone else home and talk to them slowly and loudly. Maybe that's extreme, but some extra attention can go a long way. I recommend building a private tuition room. Okay, so that's going to be kind of cool. That's something that I've seen a little bit of and I was curious about. But I'm also thinking we should get ourselves a janitor. So let's get Warwick Bullfrog. And we'll get you to just chill. Wasn't Bullfrog... Was it Bullfrog that made... It was Bullfrog that made Theme Hospital, wasn't it? There's no way that's accidental. And that looks delicious. I really want a cheesecake now. I'm not going to lie. I'm not a big fan of cheesecake that has actual fruit in it, though. And by that, I mean, I, I mean, I don't mind cheesecake with fruit in it, but chunks. I can't do chunks. I've explained this to a couple of people weirdly recently, actually. I'm a very textural eater. And people always sort of go, oh, yeah, whatever, every time I say that. But genuinely, I, I am a very, very, like, textural eater. I can't deal with, like, like even simple things like onions. If I, I have to, like, God, I, I'm going to sound like a toddler when I say this, but genuinely... I have to like grate them up, right? If I'm if I'm putting onions in in anything, I have to grate them up. The texture, I just can't do the texture. It drives me crazy. And I feel like a total child saying that, but it's true. I genuinely genuinely can't deal with the uh with the texture of uh, of onions. I also wonder what I can do with this table here. Is anyone going to use that? Oh, they are. Okay. Yeah, we'll let them sit there and chill, I guess. We'll throw ourselves a food group's poster or something around here. I don't know, a I heart two point thing on the wall, I guess. is probably fair enough. Yeah, that looks all right. Okay. Yeah, I, I genuinely can't do like chunks of onion. I can't, uh, most vegetables that I don't eat, it's because of the texture. It just drives me crazy. It really, really does. I'm such a textural eater. So with that out of the way, with my inability to eat, onions out of the way oh my oh my god they burnt the giant pie they burnt a giant pie oh they might all want to get out of there that's <laughs> that's not a good thing at all uh let's go ahead and build this private tuition room it needs to be three by two which to me says i could probably get away with something like this and i mean it's just uh it's just a desk really isn't it i don't know what side the student necessarily goes on, so I would assume the student goes on the side that doesn't have the drawers. So let's do let's do this. We'll do the I don't know, can I can I fit this thing in like a corner? Is it gonna let me do that? It absolutely is. I think that looks kind of cool, although that's now inaccessible. So if I move this down a little bit, it's now accessible. Can I get a plant back there? Absolutely not. Okay, we'll put a plant down in this corner. We can do a food groups chart sort of on the wall back here. We can do, we could do a room divider if we really wanted to. I don't think I really want to do that though. I don't think there's much point. There's not a whole lot else in there we can get right now. I don't think we're going to need a bin. I do think a rug would be kind of nice though. So I'll go for the green one. And let's see, we'll go ahead and just put it there. 
That seems pretty good. And I guess maybe a little bit of hand sanitizer just to make the room a little bit better. So that is going to be our private tuition room. And let's see. Students can attend private tuition for one-on-one -on -one help from a teacher. It's a great way for students to catch up or even race ahead. Private tuition sessions require a teacher to be qualified in the same course that the student is taking. Okay. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and copy this room because I think we might need two of them. We'll sell the invalid items as well. And that seems pretty, that seems pretty good. Now, we are going to need some teachers for this. So let's go ahead and get ourselves Joey Corruption, which is an interesting name. And you know what? We'll get Magnus Fast as well. So we now have two private tutors. And I'm curious to see if they'll actually do anything for us right away. I'm wondering if I have to send students to, uh, you know, get the, the, the private thing. So that's our timetable. That's education. I actually have no idea. I could send a student to private tuition. Although it looks like we just have one going to private tuition. Okay. That's fair enough. That actually works out pretty well and it's pretty quick too so that's nice I'm, I'm kind of okay with this we got you two going to private tuition you're up to a c plus you're up to an a not bad okay if the students are having a bland experience don't expect their food to be any different show them a tasty time by throwing them a party we need to build a student union okay so this needs to be three by four that should be easy enough i'll tell you what i'll do let's go ahead and build the student union maybe right here i don't know or maybe maybe right right and you know what let's do it uh let's do a bit weird like let's do this and maybe this so maybe private tuition is like up this corridor that's i i don't hate that idea this seems unnecessarily large for a student union but we'll go for it anyway we'll put the door right there what is this this is a bar Ooh. All right. Well, the bar actually fits pretty well into some of this space. Uh, let's go ahead and put the bar, I guess, right there. We can go and do the two-player table game sort of in that, uh, in that corner. Seems like a good spot for it. We can do a jukebox. I'm not 100% sure where I can put this thing. Can I put it back there? Nope. We'll do it. Uh, you know what? We'll do it right in the middle of the room. Seems like a good place for it. We can do a dartboard. And I guess we'll do the dartboard opposite the, duke, the juke box. What else have we got? We've got these dining tables. We've got a lot of cool stuff in here. What about a nice red sofa? So if you want to sit and watch people play darts, can we put a TV in here? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Maybe we don't do the sofa. Maybe we do these, uh, these tables. Maybe that's what we do instead. So a table, say right down, you know, here, and maybe a table here. I don't know if I like that. I actually kind of do. I, I do kind of like that position. So something like that, right? You kind of come in, you have to walk around all weird like, maybe we put these a bit closer together. No, I don't like that at all. All right, this looks like a pretty good student union. Although apparently it is going to need an assistant to work in there. So let's go for Ludwig Ginger. We'll put you right in there. You can work in the student union and that should keep our students nice and happy. Now, events are a great way to promote a healthy work-life balance and the best way to make people happy. There's a lot of organized fun to be had on campus. All right. I can see that. I think we might... Do we have an event going on? I don't know that we do. Apparently, this is what we need to do, though. So click that button. We need an SU party, a student union party. Throw an event in the student union and see if you can tell the difference. All right, well, it's going to be 8,000 to do that, but we can totally do it. Now, event settings. Do we want this to repeat every year? I don't mind if it does, to be honest with you. I'd like it to be... Oh, God. It's like an end of year thing, isn't it? You know what? 
that actually seems like a good idea. Like an end of year party at the student union. So that's going to be where it happens. We do get to rename it. So we'll call it the end of year uh, party. It's actually kind of cool that you can do that. I like that a lot. Uh, book event, not enough time remaining. Oh, we actually can't do it. Oh, we're going to have to wait until next year. Okay. That's fine, I guess. I wasn't really expecting that. I've got to be honest. Huh. You want a love bench? No. All right. Yeah, I, I'll be honest. I wasn't expecting to have this issue. That's, that's, that's very interesting. Let's view the awards and see how we did for the year. We had a hundred percent pass rate. We got no awards. That's fine. After a very savory year, it's time to cook something sweet. A truly great chef is just as familiar with sugar as salt, with butter as cheese, with tiramisu as tender stem broccoli. Remember, the food is all about balance, except when it comes to custard. You can't have too much custard. So now we need the sweet kitchen, which is a six by five room. It's also a bit of a chonker, much like this one. Maybe we just go and do another six by six space here instead of a six by five. Actually, you know what? We will do a six by five. Ooh, this thing is actually looking. It's looking like a decent size is what it's looking, but we'll go ahead and put the door here. Oh my God, that thing is huge. That's enormous. I, I, <laughs> I love that the things for like teaching are so massive though. That's kind of cool. Uh, let's see. So we got the cooking stations. We got all the same stuff in here, essentially. Do I need any of this stuff? I honestly have no idea. I feel like we probably do. It's like a washing station, a uh, cooking station, this station, that station. We could probably do corner cupboards as well. I'm not going to bother with corner cupboards, but we, we could do that if we really wanted to. Do some hand sanitizer by the door as well. And honestly, this, this seems fine. I don't think we need to go too crazy putting more stuff in there. That'll be our sweet kitchen, which is going to need, I would imagine, another another chef, right? That's what I would imagine it needs. So if I go in here and look at teachers, we've got you in gastronomy. We have you in private tuition. Ooh, interesting. We could get Boris Bork. Which, honestly, I don't hate the idea of. I really don't. I am curious, though, about who teaches in here. It is, I assume, gastronomy, right? Although, looking at it as well, it does... I mean, we have three teachers right now, so... You know what? Let's get a fourth. Let's get Boris Bork. Because that seems like a fantastic idea. So, Boris can work in there. I think. I'm not sure if he will, but whatever. And... I suppose we start, wait, manage courses. Ooh, I've got 40 course points. That means I could do, ooh, I could do either of these. I don't think I'm going to though, because we are we are a culinary school, right? So let's just go ahead and start the new year. We can just go on as we intend to. Uh, what's wrong with you guys? I have no idea what's wrong with you guys. Okay, let's at least get this party going. So we'll schedule the event and let's do it I guess in October. Seems like a good idea. We'll call it the Halloween uh, disco. All right, that seems like a good idea. We'll repeat it every year and we'll book the event. So now that that's booked, we just need to complete the party at the end of October, which is going to be overlapping with uh, some of the education stuff that we have going on. That's not good, but it's probably fair enough. We'll, we'll, we'll manage.